Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Been out doing lots of estimates today. Um, tripping all over the place. Um, trying to make sure that certainly with the jobs that I'm, I'm tripping out to do the estimates that they're higher priced ones um, and or on the way to other estimates. Um, I ended up with one that was just, it was gonna take me another half hour to drive. Um, out to and just ask them to go ahead and just send me pictures of it. Um, again, we don't mind driving out to to go out and do the job, spend some hours there, make some money. Um, but driving real far out um, is not always worth it, considering what time's worth. Um, anyways, uh, so the the point of this video, um, I want to talk about generosity. Uh, and the overall benefits for you and everyone around you um, and for your business. Um, I was talking with a friend last night who um, he works for um, for a jewelry company and has worked there off and on a couple of times and when he got hired the most recent time um, you know was promised that come July that he would receive a raise of whatever, I don't know what it would be. Um, it's not for me to know anyways. So, this guy, uh, um, the employer, our business owner, um, again, jewelry, jewelry company. So, there's a lot of money in it. And I understand certainly a lot of what's being sold, there may not be as high of a profit margin as uh, we all might like to think, but even even so, um, th this business owner just recently cut the guy's hours back by changing the hours that the business is open and the hours that he's able to work. So he's only getting 35 hours a week instead of 40. Um, and now with the raise that he'll get in a couple weeks, he'll end up taking home less than what he was taking home working 40 hours a week. Granted, he's got you know an extra hour a day that he could try and do something else with um, and I doubt that his workload has been changed at all um, but it's something I mean and really and truly it, it comes down to that this this owner has got that reputation uh, of being cheap you know wants to gripe and complain about taxes and this and that and paying whatever um, I, that's not a way to live um, or to run a business. And when, you, when you're running a business, you want to make sure that, or at least this, this is my personal philosophy, but I think it's good for everybody to have this. Be generous. You know, at, at the end of the day, um, my definite chief aim is to provide for my family and to help others. Um, you know, as I say, a, a rising tide floats all ships. I'm still making plenty of money, and you can make plenty of money, and you know, you, you always hear people talk about Costco. Um, you know, they get paid, we'll just call it double what people at Sam's Club um, and Walmart make. Uh, the business is thriving, the people are happy, they like to work there, they've got really high retention rates and everything. Um, but you'll find that, I mean, the more generous you are with people, um, whether it's customers or organizations or employees or just even those around you in, in you know day-to-day -day life You'll see really quickly that people respond well to that. It may not be immediate um, But certainly over time the more generous you are um, Again, don't be foolish, but the more generous you are the wiser you are with money You're gonna see dividends come out of that and certainly don't do it just because, oh, I'm going to, uh, you know, the, the law of increasing returns that I'm going to get more money back by giving money away and blah, blah, blah. Do it because you want to. You know, I mean, because at the end of the day, if, if I die with $10 million and everybody who worked for me is completely broke uh, and felt like they were always underappreciated, uh, I would say that I failed. Um... I want people to be able to grow and expand 
and you know to be able to you know, probably move on from power washing or to be able to you know get to that point where they're comfortable with what they're doing that they love it um, that it provides you know the needs and everything for their family um, you know so I, I mean I'll be perfectly honest I, I probably pay my guys more than a lot of other people do um, my lead tech right now makes 18 an hour um, assistant techs at 14 um, and I'm very generous about the raises you know I, I start at 10 for the first week then go to 12 and the other guy who's at 14 has been with me for three or four months now maybe five months um, and certainly showing your appreciation in other ways not just you know wages because again that's something that eventually they it's generosity um, until it's been a while and then that's just what they're expecting so um but yeah, you, you can make yourself miserable working out ways to, um, you know, cut costs and, um, you know, cheat people out of, you know, stuff that they've worked hard for, you know. If you've done a great job, you deserve to be paid like you've done a great job. You're Continue on Parsons Road for one mile. Forget the GPS, whatever. Um, but yeah, just take that to heart. Um it's good for you, it's good for your employees, it's good for your customers. Um, do more than you're paid for. You know, that, that's a great business philosophy and it'll always work in the long run for you as well. So same thing with helping out employees and everybody else around you. So have a great day, thanks.